So how did you come up with your stage name? Excuse me. Um, <laughs> good question. Well, uh, my stage name, I guess you could say, is very not what people would think. It's not usual. Angelina Jolie, of course, but um, also back in the day, like 1950s or whatever, there was this old school goddamn amazing gangster, and he was named Nicky Valentine, and he would go around decapitating his victims and keeping their heads in his truck. And I thought it was super high, especially back in the day, Tracy days. I thought it was like, damn. So Angelina Jolie, Nikki Valentine, bada bam, Angelina Valentine. Sick, huh? Hell yeah. <laughs> They're like, now, Valentine's Day. I'm like, no, quiet. <laughs> now, a lot of people might not know where you're from, so give a little bit about where you originated from. And, you <laughs> I'm know. from the, the dirty, dirty. And. You said the dirty I'm sorry. Dirty. <laughs> I'm just it. Yeah. Um, yes, I'm from the dirty, dirty. For all you West Coasters that don't know what that means, this is called the South, where the world makes sense. And I was born and raised on a farm. I love the people there. I love the hospitality. And especially living here in L.A., you really, 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 really see how much life is a bitch. <laughs> don't get me wrong. L.A. is gorgeous. You can have everything you want and more. But there's a big ass price you have to pay for it. So you can't have your cake and eat it too. You know what I mean? Yeah. So how did you get into the porn business? Like what made you want to become a porn star? Oh, I didn't. I didn't even know about porn really. I came here just to come here. I came here to get the fuck away. I had no money really. I used all my stripper money on the plane ticket. So it came here with like 10 bucks. I was like, I just want to get the fuck out of Kentucky for a while. Explore the world. I had no plans. I had a Kroger bag with socks and shit. Eventually my flip-flop broke, so I mean, I had no idea porn existed. And when I landed at LAX, I was like, on the phone with my sister, I was like, I'm in the Bay Area, girl, yeah, I was in the Bay Area. <laughs> I was at LAX. Randomly, by the grace of God, I don't know about the grace of God, but this guy came off the plane that I was on, and he was like, yo, dude, like, tell me, like, I remember you. And I'm like, mm, man, I've never seen you in my life. He's like, yeah, bro, you were like, dancing at Deja Vu in Kentucky. I'm like, how do you know that? But yeah, he's like, yeah, but like, I live in like Orange County, and like, <laughs> you can like totally come with me if you want. I'm like, fuck it. I ain't gonna go, you know? So I went there. I figured he'd be a gentleman later on, long story short. He'd give me the bed, and he would sleep on the couch. Huh. He was, trying to, he was trying to get down and dirty. I'm like, look, I'm not about to fuck you for a place to stay. So it was like, I'm out this bitch. And in the middle of the night, he dropped me off at Knott's Berry Farm. And I started walking with one flip-flop. And that went on for a couple of days until <laughs> until my life changed forever. When a, when a tour bus of the finest bitches I've ever seen in my life pulled up. And I walked the biggest black man I've ever seen. He looks like Chef from South Park. And he's like, why are you crying, girl? I'm like, my flip up broke, I know money on lies. I mean, he was like, well, I'll buy you a sandwich or something, you know what I mean? Like, come with us. So for some reason, he let me like follow him around. I don't really know why, but he took me under his wing. He didn't have to, but maybe he saw some potential, maybe he saw something, you know? But we went to Malibu. That's kind of the only reason I came here to California was to see the beach. And he took me to Malibu and he's like, look, I'm doing a photo shoot. Those are really important playmates. Don't bother them. Don't go near them. Don't talk to them. I'm like, okay, fine. He's like, go over there. Go play in the water. I'm like, okay. So I took my clothes off. I was like, yeah. Even if it was ice cold, getting fucking frostbite, I didn't give a fuck. I was still in the water. And then the photographers kind of merged their way from those bitches down to me. And I'm like, I'm a mature little I don't know if fucking, you know, I'm scared to death. Um, it's just shot, shoot, pictures, shooting pictures, shooting pictures. And like the next day, my, like I was at Standard Hotel because they bought me a room because I had have no place to stay. They get a knock on my door and he's like, here's your phone. I'm like, uh, a phone? Like, you got me a phone for real? I'm like, tight, dude. He's like, yeah, you're going to be getting calls from an agent. I'm like, an agent? What do you mean? He's like, I sit your pictures off. And I'm thinking like modeling or whatever. I'm like, bullshit, I'm 5'3". I know. I've been through this. Don't even give me your bullshit. But my phone started ringing and they started sending drivers to get me. And I'm like, drivers? This is rad. Like water bottles in the car and shit. This is cool. So the first agent I met, I just want to say, fuck you, Lisa Ann, fuck you, and I don't care, I'll tell it like it is, she was the worst and the best thing that could have happened to me, because I don't think a female should be in porn and a talent agent at the same time, because it's competition, and that's why 
that if you're going to be a female agent, don't do porn. Like my agent now, she doesn't do porn, and she's awesome. She's the shit. But at least the aunt's too competitive. She books herself, you know what I mean? It's like, okay, what about us, you know what I mean? So, she knew I was going to leave her, eventually. Like, she did some trifling like shit. She's like, you know, Angelina, I sent you up to this job tomorrow, and you're going to go get your body painted. You know, it's really awesome. I'm like, yes, dude. Cool, like a painting on my body. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. We drove about four hours. I woke up. I'm like, where the fuck am my dog? For? Middle of nowhere in the desert, okay? And here comes these people with, like, masks and shit and some, like, paintball guns. I'm like, oh, hell no. They're talking about paint bodies and shit. I don't know. They wanted us to play a naked game of paintball. And I'm like, this bitch really didn't think I was going to do it. So I was like, all right, I'll get out there. I put the mask on. I was like, Pfft. you know, blasting bitches all naked, getting shot. I was like, ah, oh, shit. She did it on purpose so I would have marks all over my body. Because she knew I was going to leave her, so I couldn't shoot for a couple weeks, you know what I mean? And I went right to her office and went right to jail afterwards. But after that, you know, I found Derek Kay, who, is, who was my god at the time. He was my god. He was my daddy, if you will. He has English accents. His early gray tea in the morning. Um, you know, I promised myself I'd never fuck to get anywhere. I ain't gonna laugh a couple times. <laughs> but, um... He taught me a lot. He taught me how to be on point. He taught me how to be a lady. Cause when I when I came from Kentucky, I was like, Lord, I, I was a little bit untamed. I was a little bit wild, you know what I mean? And I needed to calm the beast. I mean, I was a little bit too much for California. And I think that's why I got so big so quick. Cause people were like, Oh my God, all the time. My God, I heard she ranked somebody over on set. You know what I mean? Like, they got all these crazy ideas. Most of it's not, I'm not lying about anything. It's most of it's true, but, you know, um, I just think it's funny that people are so intimidated by me when I'm just being real. You know what I mean? Like, I don't do this job just for the money, because if I did it for the money, I would be broke. You know what I mean? Like, I do it because I love it. I love, I love to be naked. I've always loved to be naked. I love sex. I think sex is healthy. I, I don't think a healthy relationship includes putting stipulations or restrictions on a man because a, dude, a man's gonna do what a man's gotta do. And a lot of people ask me about my dating life in porn and that's a very difficult, 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 difficult question to, um, to um, answer. Um, I think it won't work because if you're a man, you're gonna get jealous. You don't want your woman to be with anybody. I don't care how, oh, it's fine with me, I'm cool with it. <laughs> I mean, just making your money, you know? It never works, it never works. Cause you feel involved. It's just like, and I'm not ready to explain myself to anybody. I don't, I'm not ashamed of what I do. I'm very proud of what I've done. I've created my own temples, my domain. If people don't like it, they can suck it. I mean, I'm known as being real always, like, you know, like I party my ass off, I have fun, and um, that kind of got me here. So that's what happened, really. And do I miss Kentucky? Yes and no. I mean, I miss my friends. I really do I miss my friends. I wish like those people were here because like you know the, the homies are always there in Kentucky. They're like, let's go do the right smash. On. People are here like, well. I'm have a curfew. I'm not really sure if I'm allowed to go out right now. It's curfew time. My God, you put it in the It's hardcore as they think they are. They ain't hardcore at all. So, I stick to myself. I don't know if it was you who asked me or, or what, but you asked me, did, do I hang out with porn girls? Fuck no. I do not hang out with any porn bitches. Why? A, because it's competition only. I'm not about to let a bitch in my house looking at my shoes. I'm like, where she get them shoes? I'm gonna look them up online. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want them to know my swag and shit. Like, I can name a couple of bitches that I'm not gonna put them on blast. I should, because that's what I do. But they they watch and observe, and I've had really bad experiences with bitches. Like, I just don't wanna end up hurting somebody. Again, let's put this out.